He upended. A title suitable for that which turns worlds upside down. When I was still uninitiated, I would stand guard at my post. I would look to the sky and see the two sons of my Lubre. One eternally shaded in the dark, the other always a brilliant blue. And in them, I had seen the folly of our kind. A fear of something we believed bigger than us. And a reliance on that which kept us. That blue sun that we harnessed our power from. A simple reversal of that power cracked the blue in half. Shut it off. And Lubre died. I did not know it at the time, but it was necessary. And now that Sabathun has trapped me within these walls, it will be necessary again. My witness. Whether I survive Sabathun's betrayal or not, the upended will ensure we salvage our perfect goal. The final abyss awaits us all. Puppets, all of them. Every last krill, every last hive. I once believed in a higher calling as they do, but you know that. You rescued me from that. Eternal appreciation doesn't even scratch the surface of what I owe you for the gifts you gave me. I know you hoped the Krill would see it too. We tried. We really did. But we had to let them struggle. All because of a belief that Purpose had finally found them. Given them strength to conquer an oppressive home world. How else were they to grow? Their loss, however, is for them to grieve, not us. We will continue forward. Greater purpose awaits my witness. When I stood on that precipice, watching the only world I knew collapse under its own weight, I was prepared for the splendor of abyssal eternity. But you brought me forth my witness, freed me from the world that imprisoned me, made me see the ultimate truth, one I could never see alone. That on my planet Lubre, who I was, where I was, what I believed mattered, all amounted to absolute insignificance. I keep this mural not as some worthless sentimental reminder of what I lost, but of the opposite, of what I gained. Power, truth of the inconsequence of most, Control over the universal strings of fate. For all this, I am eternally grateful, my witness. It was your infinite wisdom, my witness, that led me into the planet's great sea, and face to face with that which was believed to be unbeatable. You instilled in me a true understanding of wanton domination. Not for pleasure, but as a means to achieve our absolute finality. When I reached the creature known to some as the Leviathan, it laid its thoughts bare. Turn from the deep fearmonger, it relayed. I know what you seek. Press on, and you will drown in it. 
I do not drown. I spoke with a defiant tongue. In a mere infinitesimal measure of time, I held a rib of this beast in one hand and pushed aside its maimed vessel with the other. I rise. Conqueror, many called me. Again and again I heard this word, logged my direction not with admiration, but with malice. Not a conqueror, I would respond with glee. What then, they would ask. I do not tell them my witness. As you so graciously taught me, I show them. Just as I did in the unholy den of those starving worm gods. I'll not forget the stench of their rotting flesh. Or the way they cowered as I drew near. But they soon learned I was not to be feared. In the end, I left them only a promise of sustenance. And in return, they became chattel for our greater purpose. Absolute finality. And as I walked away, their fountainhead in tow, I could hear them whisper with respect. Subjugator.